don't it, necessarily yeah. think VR is explode. dead. I think VR has moved into the mainstream to the point where it's not considered the next big thing anymore, definitely, but it's not really being reported on anymore. But Oculus Quest is a fucking household name, and if that's not a live, I don't know what it is. Well, obviously, depending on the website you go to, it's it's a load of bullshit a lot of times because that's the only way they make money is they have to get these really clickbaity article titles. To say VR is dead is like yes and no. I am streaming this to my college class of like 200 students on Zoom right now. Whoa! Wait, hold on. Oh, he's talking about important shit. How long have you got? Because I'm supposed to be in a class right now. Ah, uh, honestly, I don't come on this as often as I should. But VR most certainly is not dead. I mean, look at what people have developed. You get to experience things that are literally impossible in reality. Not only that, but you are bridging the gap between you and someone else that lives thousands of miles away. VR isn't dead, it's just getting started. AR is the next step, augmented reality, rather than virtual reality, and everybody's working on augmented reality glasses at this point. I give it five years before everybody's wearing them. I mean, we already had Google Glass for what, a year? And then it was made fun of so bad that people stopped wearing it. Literally cyberbullied into not wearing it. I've been on VR since 2016. However, I bought a headset like a year ago. So like I kind of seen VR grow as like a platform. I definitely do think there are more players than there used to be. Especially like with like the actual headsets. Like when I first started, no one had any. Like, it was only the rich people who had them. Or like nowadays, like, I would say maybe one in every four people have a headset. So I feel like because companies are making it so affordable, a lot of people are getting more into it. So I feel like it's definitely growing rather than dying from what I've seen. Only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. I game frequently, but um, I pretty much only play VR now. And the reason is because there is nothing that can compete. There's literally nothing that can compete in terms of immersion. Literally nothing. I have never had a game so immersive as anything I've played in VR. And um, it's it's insanely addictive. It's um, it's very attractive, at least, for, for, for how I would want to spend my time. Because I go, well, I could spend my time, you know, flying virtual planes with a little keyboard and a mouse, or I could quite literally go and sit in a plane and fly a fighter jet and do barrel rolls and, you know, shoot missiles and drop bombs out of the plane, like, as the pilot. It puts you in the game. I mean, that's, that's ultimately Ultimately, what it does, but but the point is, is that I haven't done anything but really VR. I I, I don't know. I I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just like uh, fuck. I'm you tripping. Like literally, literally I just tripped. I know. I'm sorry. I ha I don't. Yeah. Take your time, man. Now, I don't necessarily think that VR is entirely the future of gaming, but I think it is going to become a new prominent platform. Similar how how there's PC and there's console and there's portable, there's just VR. It's just another medium of gaming, which I do think is going to continue to exist and have a pretty large audience. I don't think it's going to take over the gaming market, but I do think it is going to be a very prominent part of it. But to say VR chat, to say VR is dead is kind of stupid, but not. VR chat's basically just throwing their players to the wind right now, but it doesn't mean that they're dead. There's still 2,000 people right now in the Black Cat. There's still 900 here. And at their peak, before all the easy anti-cheat sh stuff, that was like 5,000. So their numbers have pretty much been cut in half, but I wouldn't say it's dead. The technology is going to advance by leaps and bounds. Personally, I'm a big believer in full dive virtual reality. I tr truly believe that one day we are going to be able to have, I mean, we've already got BCI, brain computer interface. I give it about five years, 10 years before BCI becomes commonplace. It won't be perfected for hundreds of years, but we will see virtual reality as the next reality it's not difficult finding people to play with so much as um like i don't i, I there's this game really is is like what i would guess most people want the metaverse to be or what what their idea of it is there's like the the mark zuckerberg idea of the metaverse or whatever is pretty much this i mean i would guess his idea is probably going to be more corporatized and but in terms of people going and just doing shit and hanging out together in vr this is it i mean this is you die
daimony, yeah, the peak of that. And when it's all working, it's pretty, it, it is literally the best form of gaming, period. Is it okay if I give a little rant about how I get, got into VR, if that counts as content? Okay, our school got a HTC Vive a little bit before it came out. I like would not stop trying to get a VR headset up until November 2020 when I finally got one. And I got a Quest originally because I hadn't built a PC yet and I wanted something to be able to use right there in that moment. But now that I have built my own nice PC after saving up for four years, I um, can play PC VR games on a VR headset. It's like a dream come true, it's sick. I think, I don't know the history behind VR chat, but I think it was one of the earliest to actually start doing stuff like this. It jumped into the market right at that time. They were the, I think they were the first to do like full body tracking and all this other shit. I think gaming in general is going to stay mostly on PCs and all that. And more, more leisurely stuff is going to be on VR. But I definitely see businesses going in the direction of like more VR related stuff. It's a weird question because you can't really predict that. They say, oh, VR is going to be the next big thing. You know who the companies that are, who are saying that are? The ones that fucking sells the things. When full dive becomes a thing, whether it's within five years to 50 years, everything will change. There will not be any console wars anymore. No more PlayStation, no more PC, no more nothing. Because full dive virtual reality is going to totally and completely destroy all other gaming consoles, all other gaming systems. When you can walk in your avatar, feel the wind on your skin, and face off against a dragon standing directly in front of you, what need do you have to play Xbox? That's the best part. We are on the verge of that already. We are right on the cusp of integrating all five senses into virtual reality. The problem that we have is consciousness. That is the only thing holding us back right now. Yeah, it's not like my first time VR, but my first time VR chat. But this is really beautiful. I'm more from the PC side. Or oh, it's really trippy. <laughs> I don't think it's dead. It's like there's not much big companies that develop for it. I don't think it's dead. I think the biggest problem is it's not super accessible. As of right now, you can get a quest. It's uh, 400 bucks. That's kind of expensive for most people. It's not super expensive. Like if you, you know, save a little bit or whatever, but it's still relatively expensive. But here's the big one is like the immersion I really appreciate is really only got like attained at, at that high, high level of, of price. The legs, the high definition. I think it, it does have a future, but it, it really lies in, in making um, the consumer level more accessible. So cheaper, really. A quality headset that really puts you in the metaverse at an affordable price. I think it would definitely expand VR much, much more. And, you know, I don't think it's dying. I think what happened is tech bros don't care about it as much anymore, but I still think it's very, very alive and, and okay. Kindness is contagious. When you are kind, you inspire others. Be the spark. Spreading kindness merchandise available now.